Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been probably almost three weeks since I have filmed and uploaded a video for you. And honestly, with this whole stay at home, everything that's going on in the world and in the planet, I just have not been very motivated to be in front of a camera. Uh, I've just been feeling kind of like withdrawn and introverted and I don't know, it was like pulling teeth to like get the energy up to film this and I'm finally sitting down with ears on my head and I'm in my um the room formerly known as my Disney office and I'm gonna do it I'm ripping off the band-aid because I've missed you and I've missed YouTube and I have a lot of videos that I want to film not the least of which is the one that I'm gonna film or at least start filming today uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while you will know that in my office I have this tall and mysterious chest of drawers and people ask me about this thing all the time. They want to know what's in the drawers and where did I get it. Um, I actually got it from Home Depot. It was part of the Martha Stewart collection. Unfortunately, I don't think it's available. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news on that, but I'm going to show you what's in my Disney drawers and you know that I'm on a decluttering journey and a downsizing journey and also we are selling our house and moving sometime in the next couple of months. So I am going to do a Disney drawer declutter series. It's going to be a series because I think there's actually 14 drawers total and I don't think I can do all 14 of them in one video. So this will be part one of like a two or three part video. And what is in here you might ask? There are stationary things, there are tons of drawers full of Disney pins that I haven't placed on boards or in books yet. There's like planner stuff and stickers. Most of the stuff in here is Disney stuff and a lot of it is either pins or stationary and I think I'm just gonna go through one drawer at a time and show you what's in there and sort it out and declutter it and hopefully this will be productive and I'll make some progress and hopefully it will be entertaining for you at the same time. So I'm gonna go for drawer number one, which I actually don't think has um, that much stuff in it. Oh, but it's heavy, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna put it down here on the floor and I'm seeing right away these um, command strips with little hooks from 3M. These are actually what I was using to hang my Disney ears on my wall. I had to take them down unfortunately for the house photos and showings, but um, that's what I use to hang my Disney ears. And then this is just instructions on my actual like chest of drawers that I've kept. And then I think the only other thing in here is Disney pin related. This is a pin folio um, by my friends over at Go Pin Pro, and I like to keep my pins in these books. And I think what I have in here are some pins that I had brought out to California to D23 for trading. Um, some of them I've obviously taken away, but there's some left. So I'm gonna declutter these pins really quick. These are actually all gonna go into either a trade or a pin sale on my uh, Disney Pinstagram because I had intended to trade these already. These four here are from the Epcot World Showcase um, booster pack. I think there's probably like 11 pins total in the booster pack because that's how many World Showcase countries there are, but these are the four that I have left. And then on this side, I have a bunch more pins that I will also be putting up for sale or for trade on my um, on my Disney pin Instagram or my hashtag pinstagram. Um, so we've got a, uh, a pin trader's delight with the ice cream. This is from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. That's uh, Sergeant Calhoun from Wreck-It Ralph. I've got this really strange WDI low limited edition um, hitchhiking ghosts pin and some other fun stuff. Pizza Planet, Space Mountain with Stitch. This is a limited edition um, villains like perfume. Always are my way, the, the queen of hearts. That's pretty cute. This one I actually have a double, maybe even triples of. This is, I think, from Hong Kong Disneyland or, or Shanghai, one of those parks far away, Snow White. An old limited edition Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Haunted Mansion pin from California, Disneyland. Then we have some park pack pins. These were cool. I love the Disney park pack collection that came out a couple years ago. So you got Jafar, Aladdin, Hades. This cool frame pin with Hercules and Meg. And then we've got, what's his name again? Phil. It's kind of a stained glass pin. And then we've got an open edition Timothy from Dumbo. So those are all going to go into my uh, sale pile or trading pile. They'll probably show up on my Disney pin Instagram as soon as I decide to do another sale, which will probably be in the next week or so. So I'm going to close this up and um, stick it in my closet where I keep my other pin books. Um, I actually have several of them up here. Set that up there. And I'm gonna return care instructions and these command strips to the drawer and put it back. And move on to drawer number two, which has a whole crap ton of Disney pins to declutter. And I think a lot of these 
are gonna go for sale because I think I have doubles of a lot of these. So if you are someone who enjoys looking at Disney pins and um, pin collections and pin declutters, this drawer is definitely for you. Let's see what we've got here. First up, I have this trio of Aristocats siblings. These are fantasy pins and the pin maker is Madame Catsper. I'm actually not going to declutter any of my fantasy pins yet because I still want to do a video with my whole fantasy pin collection in it. So I'm going to just set these aside in, in a fantasy pin pile. And speaking of gorgeous fantasy pins, this one is also by Madame Catsper. I'm going to set that aside for a future video. Okay, and I actually just turned my camera off for a few minutes and pulled out all of the fantasy pins that were in this drawer. There's a bunch of really cute ones. Um, some are Harry Potter themed and most of them are Disney. And some of them are Harry Potter and Disney mashups. And I'm just going to set these all aside for that future video when I show my fantasy pin collection. I also really do need to kind of get picky about which ones I keep because I have acquired more than I attend, intended to. Um, but I'm going to just set these aside for now. Which leaves me with these um, official pins. Most of them are Disney, although I do have a couple of Harry Potter World uh, Universal pins. This is the Hogwarts Express. This one I'm definitely keeping because I love the Hogwarts Express. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do for these is sort them into keep, declutter, and also maybe a maybe pile because um, a lot of these I'm on the fence or I have to make sure that I don't have a duplicate because I do end up with duplicate pins. You guys, part of the reason I'm doing this Disney pin downsize is I just have too many to really keep track and take good care of them. And a lot of pins end up in these drawers when I like take them off a pin board or I've shown them in a video and then I don't put them back where they belong because I'm naughty like that. Um, but I'm gonna quickly go through all these. I'm grabbing a couple keepers right away. This one's one of my favorite. It's like 101 Dalmatians Swing Into Spring from um, Disneyland Paris. And um, it's like totally swing into springtime here. And it makes me miss springtime at Disney and Paris uh, so much. I'm not gonna take time to show every single one of them, but this is some things that are going into the uh, the definitely keep pile. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This Winnie the Pooh and Friends kind of fall harvest pin. Let me just check on the edition size of this. Oh yeah, it's a Studio Store Hollywood pin, limited edition of just 200. I need to get some pin backs on some of these so I don't stab myself. Okay, my little pin sorting piles are coming along. This is the keep so far. This is the maybe so far. This is the declutter for sure. A lot of these I have doubles of. Um, and then some of them I'm kind of on the fence about. Like I collect Tiki Room and um, I'm trying to decide like if I wanna keep all my Tiki Room or just my favorite ones. This one's kind of cool, it opens up. And you can see uh, the Barker bird and one of the girly birds in there. Eh, I'm gonna totally keep this one, that's a pretty cool pin. Keep going, Becca. Here's a beautiful Tinkerbell for my um, Tinkerbell collection, definitely a keeper. I love these gorgeous Disneyland Paris, kind of like flowery, gardeny Tinkerbell. Everything makes me miss Flower and Garden Festival right now. Ah, I'm so sad that Disney's closed. And uh, this one I think I have some doubles of. Add that to the maybe pile. Not sure about that Snow White pin. The Tinkerbell Latte is the only Latte series. One I ended up keeping, this is from a, two years ago. It was a monthly park release series. They were cute, but this is the only one I ended up keeping because I love Tink. Keep going here, sort through a few more. This one I have several doubles of, so I'm gonna just double check and that might end up in a pin sale. So that's going in the maybe because I think I have more than one of those New York City exclusives. Same story here with the Ratatouille Lunchbox. I love this series, but I think I have more than one of these because I'm a crazy person. Here is a cute one that I wanted to show you. This is actually an Acme pin. I think Acme doesn't really do a lot of pins anymore. They have a new name now, but um, they have the little gold bars on the back. And um, it's Lady with her puppies. So cute. This is a keeper for me. I love Lady from Lady and the Tramp. It reminds me of Molly, my dog. She and her babies are joining the uh, the keeper pile. I've got some other Lady and the Tramp pins happening here. This Utopia one here is from 2018 uh, Christmas at Disney World. And this one is uh, actually something that I have two of. So I'm gonna put one in my pin sale, but I really love this pin, but um, I have two of them. Update, I have almost emptied this drawer, but I wanna show you a couple pins that um, I think are, are awesome. We've got the Pooh and Friends uh, Easter pin. I should have put this on a board for Easter, which just passed, dang it. Um, but I love seasonal Winnie the Pooh stuff. And speaking of that, this pin right here is one of my favorite pins in my entire collection. I'll never give this up. This is Eeyore. 
dressed up as Winnie the Pooh for Halloween. And he just looks so cute. I love, love, love this pin. Took me forever to find it. A couple more for the cell pile. And then I've got this box. This is from the uh, mystery pin set at the Epcot pin event back in August, the fairy tales event. And I think I just have some uh, pin backs in there. Oh, and a tiny little itty bitty, a tiny itty bitty little Disneyland train. I love Disney trains, so I'm keeping that one. So cute. So, all right, I'll pull out the Mickey head pin backs because a lot of my pins need backs. And I've got a uh, USB cable, that's useful. And then I finally have one tiny little like mini plastic Donald Duck Zoom Zoom that was hiding out in this drawer. So that's what was in drawer number two. All right, drawer number two is done. Time to see what is in drawer number three. Looks like a lot of stationery and good goodies. Oh my gosh, all kinds of fun things in here. First thing I'm seeing is actually um, a nightlight. And this is awesome. It has the uh, castle and it says home on it. Um, somebody made this. The, her name is the Laser Lady. She made it with a laser printer. Let me just plug it in. I have to cover up the little light sensor to make it turn on, but isn't that awesome? I actually um, use this all the time, but I had put it away for the house photos, but keeping that forever, it's so cool. Then I have in here this awesome Hogwarts letter journal. Opens up. And there's just some um, some lined writing paper inside. So cool. I got this in my um, Wizard's Vault by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes. I love this thing. Someday I'll use it. Mr. Harry Potter, The Cupboard Under the Stairs. Love it. And then I have a whole bunch of stamps. I'm not sure what the deal is with these stamps. I must have... I don't know. I was never a stamp collector, but inexplicably I have some like old cool stamps in this little plastic envelope. I actually see some Disney ones, so I'm going to reach for them right now. 37 cents. That must have been a while ago. I've got Snow White and Ariel, Mickey and Pluto, and the Mad Tea Party. I wonder if it says the year. No, it doesn't, but they're super cool, so... There you go. Look at these, I just pulled these out. Peter Pan, Sorcerer Mickey, Dumbo, Aladdin. These are 41 cents, so it's a little bit later on. I'm so curious if there's any other cool Disney stuff in here. I'm seriously such a nerd for everything having to do with um, the US mail and like snail mail and stationery and pen pals and things. I don't think there's any more Disney, but these are cool, so cool. Next up, I'm seeing a couple of these little um, art prints. This is from the uh, Festival of the Arts a couple years ago. It was a giveaway for annual pass holders. It's Belle. It's kind of like abstract art dress Belle. I have two of those. Then I have a bunch of pens, and I'm going to have to, like, off camera try writing with all of them to see which ones still work and which ones don't because... I have so many pens and writing utensils that I don't have any time for the ones that don't work awesome. But there you go. Lots of like little tiny Sharpie markers that I use for planners and some fancy little, fancy little pen gems pens. I used to be obsessed with these pen gems. I'll link to her down below her website. She does all these cool like super girly shiny pens. And then inside there's like these little colored crystals. Oh, I used to be obsessed with her. Okay. And now this is actually um, a planner. <laughs> and it's a it's a Christmas planner and inside there's like a little um like a little purse type thing for like cards and receipts and things and the whole point of like a Christmas planner is that you would write down like your gift lists and your to do's and your plans and your stuff and you just kind of keep all of your Christmas and holiday obligations and lists that you want to check twice all in one spot I haven't used this I think in a couple years but um, it's too cute, and maybe I'll use it this year. Honestly, the holidays in my world are not that complicated, so I don't really need it, but I just I just really like the idea of it, I guess. <laughs> Here is another one of those super cute uh, Pen Gems pens. A couple of quarters. I guess I'll hang on to those since um, I've been laid off because of the COVID. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to spend it all in one place there. And then I have these. Oh, these are awesome. Um... This is a set of four princess magnets, and they were designed by um, this friend of mine who makes these awesome books called The Going To Guide. Anyway, she sent me these um, a while back. Let me show you. Here they all are. These ladies are so cute. So you've got Snow, Ariel, Jasmine, and Rapunzel. And Rapunzel and Ariel, actually they all have like little kind of glitter embellishments on their, their hair things. These are so cute. Um, I haven't looked at these in a long time. I actually think... 
um, I'm going to give these away to someone watching this video. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video and you can win these. And I'm going to maybe throw in some other goodies too. Um, I love these. I would love to keep them. But I have more, more Disney magnets than I can shake a stick at. So I'll be giving these away. Just a couple more little items in this drawer. I've got a set of Dumbo pens. They're Dumbo themed pens. As you can tell, I have more pens that I know what to do with. I think these came from Shanghai, actually. I'm gonna put these in my giveaway. See, now I'm on a roll with the giveaway. Put these aside. And then, oh my gosh, this is a throwback. I have um, a few leftover Christmas cards. The very first year I had my channel, um, I sent out little Disney Kitty Christmas cards to people um, who had written me snail mail because I didn't get very much mail then. <laughs> I get too much mail now, so I'm closing my P.O. box. I, I just, I can't keep up, unfortunately, but I have a few left over. I had these printed. I'm going to put one of these in the giveaway as like a little memento, <laughs> just, just for fun, just for kicks. If you want like Disney kitty memorabilia, not that anybody wants that, but I have a few, so I'll throw one of these into the giveaway. I'm such a nerd, but I'm having fun with this, you guys, so just humor me and <laughs> just, just roll with it. I probably should declutter these, but I'm gonna keep them. I might give some to my mom. My mom will probably put them in a scrapbook or something. I'm gonna keep my uh, Harry Potter journal, my, my Christmas planner. I'm gonna go through some of these pens. I'm also gonna go through these stamps because these are cool. I don't think they're worth anything, but I mean, the last thing I need is another collection, but I like basically have the beginnings of a stamp collection. I'm gonna hang on to these bells for a while. And uh, yeah, that gets us through drawer number three. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I think this is gonna be the last drawer for part one of this drawer series. I think it's gonna be a three-part series because I think this video is probably getting kind of long already. So holy moly, there's a bunch of stuff in here let's see what we've got a really gorgeous mickey mouse card i definitely have some magic mail um in a couple of these drawers that i haven't been able to file away properly yet oh and this is cute this is lady as a ravenclaw house uh wizard <laughs> a friend of mine makes um fantasy pins and designs as the disney dogs as little hogwarts students so that's really cute keep that and I have this super gorgeous Pinocchio card, which I'm keeping forever. All kinds of sweet things that are in here. Let's see. Oh, and this, this is fun. This is Aaron, my husband's name tag from when we took the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour in Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World a couple years ago together. Um, we both really enjoyed that. And they give you these cool name tags. Um, and this is Aaron's. I wonder if he still wants it. I'll have to ask him. What else here? I have some Duffy and Friends washi tape. So washi tape is just like fancy decorative masking tape. I might put this with my planner stuff or I might find a better home for it. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. And then I have this guide map from Hong Kong Disneyland and um, someone sent this to me because it had Nick Wilde on the front and I love Zootopia and I love Nick, that's a keeper. And then I've got these from um, Tokyo and they're Disney sticky notes. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found these. Um, I have a, a lot of sticky notes, but they're all somewhere else, and these ones were lost. So I'm going to take these out of this drawer and put them with the rest of my Disney stickies. These are so cute. I love this Alice one, and I love that Snow White one. Ah, oh, this is like a, it's like Christmas opening these drawers. And there's more stamps. I don't know what my deal is with the stamps. So these are 41 cent stamps, and they are Star Wars, and we've got like Darth Maul on there, and Yoda. This is kind of crazy, Emperor Palpatine. I'm gonna put those with the other stamps. They're probably not worth anything, especially since two are gone. Dang it, but it's still fun to find those. Another guide map from Hong Kong. I'll put this in my giveaway. Since I'm keeping the Nick one, I'll put the goofy one in my giveaway in case anyone wants some something cool from a Hong Kong park since all the parks are pretty much closed. And then I have from the Tokyo Disney Resort, these like little stationary items. These are kind of strange. Like you can assemble them and they make like these little, like three-dimensional shapes. I'll have to play around with these. I've never used them yet, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna vow to try using these, even though they're slightly intimidating. And then I have a very sharp tack. I'm gonna put that somewhere safe. And, oh, a fantasy pin. Put this in my fantasy pin pile. This says Granger, like Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. You've got some Polyjuice Potion and the, uh, her cat's paw, Crookshanks. What's this at the top? Oh, that's the Time Turner. That's a cool pin. 
and a button that says I run like a princess totally keeping this hopefully 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 I'm gonna get to do that run Disney race in November I really hope things are up and running by November so keeping this I can wear it to run Disney and then this is a cute button too this says happy Christmas and it's the uh, Hogwarts castle all lit up from Universal Studios Wizarding World of Harry Potter theme park so I'll probably hang on to this because I'm such a Harry Potter freak Okay, a few more things in here. Oh, a Tinkerbell Funko Pop. Oh, she's missing a wing. Oh, shoot. I don't know if the wing was supposed to come off. That's what I get for putting in her, her in a drawer. See, you guys, this is why I need less things, because I'm not good at looking after all the wonderful things I have. I gotta see if I can fix her. It might just plug back into that little hole. Ooh, very embarrassing. And more washi tape. This washi tape says, be brave, be brave, and dream big. I will put this into my little giveaway. And there's a tiny little Snow White button. This is probably from Hot Topic or Box Lunch. <laughs> Getting to the bottom here. Down here at the bottom, we've got some stickers. Snow White. Beauty and the Beast. And a Disney pin card back from the Gingerbread Houses. I gotta match this up with its pin. Oops. A little random Alice in Wonderland card. She's got Dinah. That's cute. This would be a good bookmark, maybe. I can't remember where I got that. Hmm. Another sharp and scary tack. So dangerous to have these just floating around. And then finally I have um, an old Erin Condren planner. I think this is like an old monthly planner. There it says Becca Jance, that's my name. And uh, yeah, it's got some, um, some lists <laughs> and some calendar decorations and all kinds of fun stuff from when I was a crazy, crazy planner girl. So, um, I'll probably throw this away, even though the stickers are so pretty. And I'll keep the uh, reusable cover because you can take them off and put them back on. But I love my Erin Condren stuff, so planner girl, hashtag planner girl. <laughs> All right, so that was four drawers out of, I think, 14. And I'm going to split this up into three parts. So the next one will be another three or four or five. And then the next one will be another three or four or five, depending on how much stuff is in the drawers. And like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I'm going to do a little mini giveaway of some of the treasures I discovered in my drawers since I am decluttering. And a lot of the pins are gonna go on my pin sale, but here's what I'm gonna give away for this video. A little unplanned impromptu giveaway haul. I'm gonna give away this pin. I think this is from Hong Kong Disneyland, and it's Snow White. She's got a little apple charm that hangs down. I have at least two of these, <laughs> maybe even three, and it's a gorgeous pin, um, but I have more than I need of it. So this'll go in the giveaway, really pretty. And then I'm gonna give away that four set of princess magnets that I already showed you. I'm gonna give away this little roll of washi tape that says be brave and dream big. I'm going to give away the uh, Hong Kong guide map with Goofy and this tiny little Snow White and her prince button. And then I'm gonna give away the pack of Dumbo pens. These are from the Shanghai Disney Resort. And I'm gonna throw in um, one more pen. This is by Pen Gems. It's got a blue barrel and then kind of red, white, and blue crystals because 4th of July is kind of coming up. So that, I thought that's festive. So I'll throw in this cute pen. I hope it still works. I'll, I'll double check that it works <laughs> before I throw it in. And then I'll just throw in this like for like as a joke, my old Christmas card from 2017. Um, it's got some pictures of me at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Very fun. So that's this giveaway. And, and if you'd like to enter to win, just be a subscriber to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below and let me know something that you are grateful for today or this week. Because there's a lot of hard stuff going on. And um, I would love to hear some positive uh, thoughts of gratitude. So one thing you're grateful for. And you will be entered to win. I'll leave this giveaway open for like, you know, a week or a few days and I'll put the details down in the description box in case you want to know any extra rules or stuff like that. All right, one, two, three, four drawers, check. And um, here's a little preview, oh my gosh, of what's coming up in the next Disney drawer. Declutter, oh, there's a bunch of pins, oh my gosh. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of informal, carefree, decluttered Disney drawer video. And I'll be back soon with a bunch of other videos for you. So until then, have a magical day, stay safe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.